Like, what do you got for me? Oh, well, we were just watching your YouTube channel. And we're watching the one where you talk about <laughs> our modern women, uh, Walking Dead. The Walking Dread, not dead. The Walking Dread. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. So what, okay. <laughs> Did you watch the entire video or just part of it? <laughs> Good question. I'm only um about a third way in. So what do you think about what what do you think on the topic? Um you you're absolutely correct. Women are dreading getting older. As a thirty three year old, I feel like it's a lot of pressure right now. Opposed okay. to when I was in school working. I mean, I always thought, Oh yeah, I'll get married or yeah, it'll come. Mm -hmm. I have a but definitely, once you hit the uh, 33 to 35 range, it hits you hard. Give me a favor, hold your phone still. What state are you in? I'm in New Jersey. Um, I, well, I'm an entrepreneur model. When you were young, what age did you think you'd be married by? By 30. What I mean, you, what do you I, think, why do you think that didn't happen? Honestly, it was location and options. And my what does that mean? Well, at the time, at 30, I was um, finishing up my master's in the middle of nowhere. Oh, with... you said you're an entrepreneur and a what? And a model. A model? Mm -hmm. A plus uh -huh. size. But then I took a break. I did take a, about a three-year break between the classes and doing my thesis to graduate. And you said you're a plus size model? Yes. I'm always fascinated as to why college and careers, even high level careers, don't seem to keep other races women from marrying. Hmm. Geography, none of this stuff seems to keep other women from getting married. Why do you think it, why do you think black women just readily why do you think because I hear this from black women often. It's cause I was in school. I'm like, well Becky was in school and Becky went to the Mayo Clinic. Now she's a surgeon with a husband and four kids. Right. So is it really school? It's school. It's definitely wow. school. Um, I have a Caribbean background and my father, ever since I was little, he's like, school, school, school. Don't worry about anything else. As long as you have your education, no one can take anything from you. So it's kind of like pressure to secure that before anything else. But other people can go to school and have educational <laughs> focused backgrounds. I have friends from Pakistan, from uh, the Middle East, and they're all about that, but they still get married. That's true. So I'm, I, not, I'm not hearing why education is doing, is it really education? Okay, that was a long, what's your longest relationship? Uh, two years. How long ago was that? Two solid years, that was four years ago. All right, you have any brothers? No. Okay, so you're the only child? No, I'm a middle child of three girls. Okay, three girls. Okay, this explains more. And your <laughs> sister's married? My older sister's married. So it's it's reasonable to say growing up, you did not learn how to serve a man. Oh, I did, absolutely then. You did or did not? I did. You said to serve a man? Well, let me, let me explain what I mean. If you have brothers in the house, and your mother cook, your mother would serve your father, and whether your brothers were older or younger, you would serve them. When yeah. the plate, when the dinner was done, your mother would clear your father's plate, the women would clear the men's plates. You're right, you're right. You had no men in the house, so it was all female energy in the father. A lot, yeah. Well, and, and he, no, no disrespect to your father, but he panicked and said, y'all need to get educations because I can't afford to take care of all y'all. That's what tends to happen when you have a bunch of girls. You, you got to get a job because <laughs> I can't pay for it instead of telling you, go yeah. find a husband and build a life with somebody so I can have some sons and some help. Yeah. You're right. Um, I would say my options as far as what I'm looking for wasn't available. What are you my, looking for? You know, intellectual brother, ambitious um, family. How tall are you? <laughs> I am 5'5". Five five. Do you know what's coming next? Dress size? Uh, I wear 22. All right. Yeah, 
I'm juicy. I already know that. That's not the word I would use. <laughs> See, and, and I gotta be honest, man. What mm -hmm. options? And I, how can I say this in that? Can I just be direct? Absolutely. I already know. Well, what options do is the, a, a woman who's a dress size 22, can you command? I mean, it's I all... Say, I say, you, what, I don't, it's all about what? How you carry it as well. Ma'am, you're five foot five. Yeah. And you're, what's the most you've ever weighed? 350. <clears throat> and a woman is five foot five, should be 125 pounds. You are almost three times, at your height, you're almost three human beings. No, no, that's not my current weight, though. I've I said at your height. Okay, but that's 350 not. 350 and three times 125 is 375. At your height, you are almost three women. And what I'm asking in the nicest, most gentle way possible mm -hmm. is what kind of options can a woman who is 350 pounds or thereabout think she can demand? I just want to clarify that my biggest weight is 350, but that's not my current weight. Okay, ma'am. How much do you weigh now? Currently, I'm 250. Okay. Not much. Okay. It's an improvement. Absolutely. But it is still, hmm, I'm just leave it alone. But what I don't understand is how you could say education is what kept you from marriage when most people would say, it, hold on. Okay. Most people would not say school and geography. Most people would point to your, your weight. Oh, yeah, I know. But I know. that's not what you said. You said school. For me personally, I feel like no, I don't know. No, no man, that's not what it was. And you're an educated woman. Uh -huh. And you're sitting here trying to tell me and that and well it wasn't the fact that there were men in college, there were men around you, ma'am, you were you were you were too big for anybody to really seriously consider you. Right. So telling yourself it was school is it delusional? That makes sense. But what's troubling is that I had to pull that out, and at, at thirty-three, you can't be honest with that. Oh no, no, no! I, I accept that. But you accept what I said, but it's not what you openly admitted. It's the point. I mean, sure. the, the I mean, it's pretty clear. Why? Why aren't you married? Well, you know, I think it's geography and. Well, I have options to get married, but I just didn't take but them. Not, right. Options, but let's also be honest the kind of man you say you want, you don't have. Well, I'm dating now, so. But the kind of man you say you want, you don't have. I do have now, but I'm not married, yeah. You say you want an intelligent and ambitious man. Why? Why, why is ambition important? Ambitious and ambition is important because it shows me where you want to go and how you process life and the things that you want to achieve. You and want children? Absolutely. How many? Uh, at least two. And what does your doctor say about that? It's very possible. And how long have you been at 250? Uh, for about eight years okay. yeah well honestly i believe that the truth is that m many black women have let themselves go uh to the point to where honestly you know i can get up 300 plus pounds which is why spellman got rid of all their college athletics because they saw so many women coming to college in mm -hmm. your height weight and not really giving a damn. Yeah. And taking your prime years at 300 plus pounds, mm -hmm. prioritizing everything other than your weight and as an by extension, 
being attractive to a man, you put yourself in a position where you have to provide for yourself. Mm -hmm. So are you saying you actively are seeing somebody who is vetting you for marriage? Yeah. How long have you guys been seeing one another? Um, uh, almost two years. What did you do for that? He's a mortgage broker. Has he been married? No. Any children? No. So, if you say he's honestly dating or vetting you for marriage, what's taking so long? Um, I don't think it's taking too long. I believe in taking my time. No, no, I man. First off, I asked you when was your last relationship. You said it was four years ago. Mm-hmm. But now... now but now you said, I said, you said, you're, no, I asked you when your last relationship, you said four years ago. Oh, because we broke up. We did break up for a time. So yeah. all together, we're coming out to two years of knowing each other. That doesn't make any sense. Prior to this relationship, my last relationship was four years ago. But if you're currently in a relationship, your relationship, okay, all right. For two years, taking your time, how long should it, get out of the comment section. How long should it take? No more than three years. <laughs> really thought about it, you know. Huh? So maybe about three years. Three years. Does he, he told you he wanted to marry you? Yeah. Have you gone ring shopping? Ring shopping? Mm -hmm. Right. Um. Do you make any room for the man? Please stop me in the comment section. I'm not. I'm not. I'm looking at right. Do you make any room for the possibility that you could be not being honest with yourself? As far as? Where this relationship would likely head. I mean, I'm not, I'm not afraid of it, not. No, no. I asked you if you want to get married, you said yes. Now that if you want kids, you said two. You're 33 years old. You said you've been in a relationship for two years. I asked you if you were with somebody who's actually vetting you for marriage, you said yes. I asked you, what's, why is it taking so long? You said, I believe in taking my time. I said, well, how long should it take? You said, no more than three years. And I said, all right, ma'am, do you make possibility or room for the fact that you may be reading this wrong? Because if a man wants to marry you, he should have already proposed to you a long time ago. Okay. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but you know, ever since- He's not married, he has no children. There's nothing stopping him. What is he going to know, know in a year that he doesn't already know now? We've talked about it. No, no. It's we. See, that's the thing. You ladies have nothing to do with whether or not we propose. Either we do or we don't. So if someone asks me, would you like to get married? And I'm like, well, let's think about it. Let's talk about it some more. No, no, no. That's not how it works. How it works is somebody presents a ring and drops on their knee after they ask your father for your hand in marriage and they, and they pop the question. What you're talking about is quite honestly, it's finesse. It's just a way to keep the sex coming. Okay. And you're a grown woman and you gotta know these things. Well, I don't know. I guess marriage is not like um, right. on the top list as it should be. It's not what? It's not at the top of my list as it should be, if that's, that's the one. Well, that's fine. But uh, you're 33 years old and your body type um, I don't, I mean, just from, from a, from a health standpoint, I don't think you're being honest. Okay. Well, I, I respect your opinion. As well, you're if, I mean, don't respect my, I mean, go to your doctor and ask them, what is it? Are you going to be able to carry children? I'm sure I will be. No, 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 ma'am. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying, I'm a cancer survivor. Okay. So. Understand, mm -hmm. I'm not just asking these questions. I'm like, you were 350 pounds down to 250, mm -hmm. and you don't know. You're just assuming that everything's going to work out, and you ladies always assume the best. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like you really are not prioritizing marriage, honestly. Um, sounds to me like if you're dating somebody, you know it's not really going anywhere, and you're just happy calling it what it is. But what I like to do is I like to focus women and realize, that, man, the choices you're making at this time have a long range effect. You're wasting time if you ever want to have kids. 
Okay. I mean, high risk pregnancy starts at 35 for healthy women. Mm -hmm. You're not healthy weight. Well, I know I have to lose weight before I actually have a child. I'm aware of that too. And that's something I plan to do. So when I asked earlier about, you know, why you're not married, I think it's more clear now. Mm -hmm. It's not because of school, it's not because of geography. <clears throat> is that all? Huh? And then, and then what is it about? What do you think it's about, based on what I've said? <laughs> based on what you said, you're saying it's because of my figure. I think you're just, I, I, I honestly think you're just not really taking life seriously, not my relationships. Well, I'm glad you said relationships and not life. Because well, but, but life is about relationships. If not, <laughs> if, if not, if not, we could lock you up in solitary confinement and you could still do what you do just fine. Life is about relationships. I think you're not taking relationships seriously uh, because there's some delusion here. And you think you have all the things, you think you have time that you don't have. You think you have options that you don't have. And a lot of women, black women in particular, move through life this way. And then they are dealing with the very real reality that they are out of options, out of time, and because no one sat people down and said, you need to, you, if you want a man and a family, you need to focus on it. Right. But at, like you said, at 350 pounds when you were there? Yeah. That's not somebody that's prioritizing a relationship. I hear you. So, I mean, I, I truly hope you, uh, are your sister your, your height and your weight too? No, my sisters are slim. All right. Well, I hope you and your, your boyfriend or whatever you would call him. Um, I would just say, ma'am, don't delude yourself. You're right. Um, because women don't have the same kind of clock that we have. And the price that women pay for a delusion Mm -hmm. Meaning telling yourself something that you want to believe that, that's not true is different because after a certain age, fertility and these things happen. Um, lastly, um, do you need a man who's an above average earner? Mm -hmm. You do? Wait, say it again? You need a man who's an above average earner. Uh, as long as we have the things that we need, like I don't need an above average earner. What, what is an average earner? An average earner would be about 80,000. Do you, do you care if he's black or not? Yes, I do. I, I, I would say no, but I do care. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. what percentage of black men do you think earn $80,000? Say it again. What percentage of black men in this country, do you think earn eighty thousand dollars? Probably forty-five percent. Yeah, uh, fifteen. One So they're not nearly, so if you need a man to make 80,000, the chance you need to cut what you, that just, see what I mean? By being deluded, you think the average man earns $80,000 in this country and the average black man earns 42. Well, I haven't had a problem with coming in contact with those people. Yeah, but when, see, I but don't, I, really, I don't really concern myself with coming into contact with, hooking up, dealing. I keep score on marriages because that's one of the convenient highs that a lot of systems like to tell themselves because I can date men, have sex with men, interact with men on this level, mm -hmm. that it's just like being married to it. And it's absolutely not. Mm -hmm. So what I've showed you tonight, ma'am, is you don't really have a clue what's going on out here with men. 
which explains why you got to hold on to this one because I'm assuming he earns $80,000 or more. Does he? Yeah. All right. Because if you don't have him, that means you got to go back out here in the market, right? In a pandemic, right? Yeah, right. And I can, I can tell you this. The men, black men who earn what you're talking about are not looking for women that weigh more than them. Are you sure? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to keep it light. I don't want it to be too heavy. I, 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 I want it to be realistic, though, man. And you sisters, act, you act like that this is a game. And life is I, not a game. Well, no, I totally understand. I understand. I'm not doing this to waste my time at midnight. I mean, I got other shit I could do. I mean, you, not, clicked, on my, you clicked on me. All right. Uh, and that's when I'm doing You know what? See, we get what we reflect, and this is why I, I find it difficult to feel sorry for, for women like yourself, because you because it's because it's like because even though we're trying to have the conversation, you want to keep it light. I understand you want to keep it light, man, but there's there's something to be said for the pandemic and this and that. You know, I, I hope you get what you want out of life. I really do. But I'm also, more than that, I hope men get what they want out of life. And no, men don't go out and become the best version of themselves to put themselves in the top 15% of earners to get women who are 250, 300 pounds. They don't do that. Mm -hmm. and I think that's, I think that's unreasonable to expect them to do it. Okay. All right, you have a good night. Well, and and if I don't believe that woman was no three two hundred and fifty pounds, um, this five foot five and twin a dress size twenty two. That is five foot five and a dress size twenty two. That right there, that woman is not two hundred and fifty pounds. 